or been on your revenge tour for Gloucester over the years. You get to play Virginia this time, um, up in Virginia. Just kind of what have you seen from them and kind of what are your expectations from this last regular season? You know, just want to, you know, keep the focus on us, to be honest with you. You know, that's what we've been doing. And, um, you know, Virginia hasn't really changed that much. They do the same thing. And, you know, they're really good at doing the same thing. But, um, you know, we just want to we just want to go into the game and um, have have good offense, play good defense and minimize mistakes on both ends of the floor. And that will give us our best shot at winning. Well, those guys have said. They feel like this is a scary team at this point. Do you agree that nobody wants to play Georgia Tech going into the tournament? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I you know I I think that we're playing well. I do think that. I think that um, you know the guys are have bought into each other, and so it's good to see. And I think that um, if they just play the way they're capable of playing, you know, um, they can beat anybody. They can. You know, and they've proven that, and we've putting we've we're starting to put you know games back to back again, and so uh, I think that's giving them more confidence. First time around, you had that nine point lead in the first half, then they went on that I think it was a twenty three to three run. Uh, your team has done a better job with that type of thing since that game. Uh, you know, what are you what are you seeing from your team as far as staying away from those long runs? Well, I I think um, we're still not finishing games the right way, but we're winning games, so to speak. I don't think we've we've stayed away from lows in games, so to speak. But at the same time, too, like um, I don't necessarily know if we're doing anything better, other than the fact that we're we're locked in mentally. I, you're gonna always hear me say it. I'm not big on the physical. I'm big on the mental. We barely practice. We practice for 30 minutes today. Like, it's not about practicing. It's not about going on the floor, killing guys for two hours. It's about mentally, like, what's the approach? You know, and the approach got to be the same. So for me, whether it's November or whether it's, you know, March now, like the approach, the approach has changed. So that means that they're buying in. But um, that, to me, is, is just the key. It's not anything different that we're doing. You know, our numbers don't say too much difference, but the actions are saying different. And so you're minimizing some of the things that we had a lot of earlier in the year. Virginia plays the complete opposite style of offense from you guys in terms of it's very slow, very deliberate. They'll use the whole shot clock. And how do you keep your guys from getting frustrated when the game slows down like that, that can suck the wind out of you a little bit? That's sort of their – how they've been successful in some mm. ways. Just how do you keep that from making that making your guys hurry too much on offense or get out of your scheme when you get the ball back? Well, I think that's that's the things I'm talking about. It's the mental game. You know what I mean? Like you got to be better mentally. I just don't know how much of a focus it's ever been for some of our guys. You know what I mean? Like you got to think the game as much as you can play the game. And uh, you know, with Virginia. You know, only thing that means is, is that with 25 seconds, you know, you you, you still you got to make you got to make, you know, the sixth play of, of that one possession. You know, you can't allow a backdoor cut. You can't allow offensive rebound. You can't allow uh, a wide open jump shot on a flare screen. You know, so, you know, for me, again, it's, it's I don't think that Virginia is trying to trick you, but they are good at the tricks that they do. And we got to be locked in to them from jump and not allow, um, you know, the guys that are capable of beating you to beat you. But then, you know, the role players that they have, which are really good, really good players, not not allow them to 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 get to the 50, 50, 50, 50 plays, whether that's offensive rebound, put back, um, whether that's whether that's, uh, you know, missing a missing assignment, you know, in defensive end that allows them to help Beekman or help McNeely get open for a wide open shot. Those are the things that you can't do. And then on the offensive end, you just got to be disciplined. You know, I just, um, you know, again, I just, I think like we're winning games, but, you know, I don't think we're doing anything different. I just think guys are locked in mentally, you know. I just, they're getting better, 
physically because they're getting better mentally, you know. And so that's been the biggest difference to me. The first, you mentioned McNeely the first time around. You know, the target was on Reese's back naturally just because of the player who he is. But McNeely was the guy that really killed you with going six for nine from three, I believe. You know, is that a change that can affect this time around, you know, in a positive way if you shut him down a little more? Well, of course, we got to limit him, you know, but we talked about him. He was, he was, he was, you know, struggling, I think, coming into that game, but we talked about him. But you got to, again, you know, in transition, you got to find him. You got to know, you got to know where he is, you know, on the floor. And uh, you just got to be locked in. Um, when when you're when you're in a cross match situation, you gotta know your guard, and so to me, that's where he got away from us, and we gotta do a better job um, tomorrow against against him in that area. With your rebounding improved considerably over the last, it sort of coincides with the, the wins as well. Is there anything in particular you're seeing? Is it better boxing out? Is it guys being more aggressive with their balls, or just the way the ball's bouncing? Anything in particular you can put your finger on there? No, I think I think that you know guys are guys are they're getting better instead of stabbing with one they're grabbing the ball with two um, making a concerted effort to um, you know make make a fifty fifty plays you know just just giving the extra giving the extra uh, and more than anything they're committed to each other I think that's the biggest thing I just you know guys I I'm sorry I don't have a lot. A lot of different stuff no, sure. because I, I haven't pushed the magic button. <laughs> the thing that I've been doing is preaching every single day the same thing. And we finally collectively, you know, figured it out and they and they and they're rallying together. You know, I always say this, man, players make coaches. I haven't done a thing. I haven't done a thing different early than I've done all season. I haven't I promise you I haven't done a single thing. I've been emphasizing the same points all year long. And I think that now guys have finally seen that those things, you know, they 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 relate to winning. And when you get and when you and when you get when you get a little equity in that and some wins, then you start to you start to believe. And I think that that's what you're seeing. You're seeing a team that just believes in itself, and that's 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 to be attributed to them. And and how we move forward, I think, uh, is is going to be attributed to them. You know, so I don't want to. You know, I'm I'm. I promise you, I'm not one of them guys going to sit up here. Hey, I told you so. No, nope, they playing better. Like them guys locked in, like they committed to each other. And that's what teams do. You commit to each other. You know, as a coach, you just give an instruction. You, you see an adjustment, you make it. But they're committed to each other and they're talking and on both ends of the floor and holding each other accountable. And that's a beautiful thing to see. Points off of turnovers hurt you earlier in the year. Uh, it seemed like up at Wake Forest, you know, there's a couple of uh, you know, maybe lazy passes that led to turnovers, but you guys got back on defense, made a concerted effort to, to make a stop, and that seemed to be a little bit of a difference of the way they were playing before. Mm -hmm. Again, it was them. They they did that. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like that's, but that's they, the metal they, part. they 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 yeah. did that. It's 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 you know they're committed. They it, it means something to each guy, and so. When it means something to you, you hold each player accountable. You hold they hold each other accountable, and you know that's why you're able to, you know, sprint back. And, you know they miss a layup, and we get the rebound, and we come back and get a dunk. Like it didn't happen. Your point, it didn't happen earlier yeah. in the year, but they've done a good job of that. And I'm just proud of them the way they're fighting. You know, um, again, it's not it's not always pretty, um, you know, but we're getting the job done, and you know, we we were we weren't doing that at you know, at the start of conference play, we were losing games like we like we've been winning. You mentioned that, that, that I imagine but, you know, not at this point, but then you know, back and forth, there's probably about five games that y'all could have won, probably should have won at the time, and that's maybe the difference in where you guys are going into the tournament, going into the ACC tournament versus maybe talking about something bigger. Um, just, I guess, how frustrating is it when you see the team, what they're capable of, and you even saw it earlier in the year in Mississippi State. Some of those well, games and like, and you know, Duke, Carolina, and like, not being able to put it together consistently early in the year, and that's kind of cost you guys now. See, the thing about it is, is I think everybody, 
looks at it and we talk about what happened at the beginning of the year. Maybe, maybe we weren't prepared enough to win those games. And this season's not over, so who's to say we can't make a run right now? I just think that you don't limit yourself and you don't box yourself as a human being, as a ball player, whatever it is. You know, nobody can tell you what you can be. And so looking back on those things and the games that we lost have made us better today. And so however this thing ends up, ends up, I'm proud of the guys for where they've come. And I think they got a lot left. And I think that I'm, I'm, I'm just as excited as anybody to see, you know, what happens over the course of the next week. And so for me, that's how I look at it. I don't look back, you know, and say, well, we should have did this or we could have did that or, you know, whatever it is. We were put in this position for a reason. And we're playing as well as anybody in this conference right now, period. So why can't, why not us? Why can't we? It don't matter where we at. It just matter that can we do the job moving forward? So that's how I look at it. And that's what I've been conveying to the fellas. You guys played really well in Hawaii. Another situation like that where you're going to be on a long road trip with your guys together. I feel like that experience and the success you had out there might help prepare them a little better for the ACC tournament. It could, but I think the biggest thing is that, you know, us being together, we just, you know, being a player, you know, you, 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 uh, you kind of know what players are going through. And I don't coach my team based on being a head coach. I coach my team based on my playing experience. So that's why, you know, practice to me hasn't been that important. You know, it's more watching film. It's more walking through things. It's more making the main thing the main thing, focusing on that and trying to make sure that guys are locked in to the task at hand. And that's essentially what we did in Hawaii. And, um, you know, we just have to, we, we just have to, you know, stay locked in um, and, and just stay in the moment. That's the biggest thing, you know, because as you move forward, um, you know, it's, it's a one game scenario and it's really starting tomorrow. One game scenario. And it's a great atmosphere to go in to uh, Virginia and, you know, to be senior night and, you know, they'll, they, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be hype and, you know, the, the arena be, be loud and, you know, I know they want to win to finish out the season well for them. They're, you know, they're playing for, you know, an at-large bid at the moment, you know, to stay to stay in that race. And, you know, Coach Bennett is really a great coach, and he's been doing this thing a long time. So, you know, I know he'll have them prepared, you know, but we're looking forward to the challenge of, you know, just, again, seeing what our trajectory is because it's about us at this juncture of the game. That's, that's all we really care about. And, you know, are we going to continue to keep elevating um, you know, here over the course of the next four or five days.